now that you've had this kind of breakout, game-changing film, script, Aaron Sorkin, David yeah. Fincher, I mean, all of the actors are, like, amazing actors who are going to be very relevant for the next coming years. I mean, you have Andrew Garfield, who's, like, the next Spider-Man. Yeah. Jesse Eisenberg is... He started shooting, I think, uh, two days ago or so. Yeah, I mean, we're talking... I mean, all of... And you have Rooney Mar, who's the girl with the dragon tattoo. I mean, these, these, yeah. aren't, these kids are not playing around. Yeah. You know, so... The stakes are kind of high. Are you, do you have any, like, nerves about, like, whatever you choose to follow this up with? Are you afraid that it's not going to stack up now that you've worked know. with the Not best? really. Like, no? not because I, I am not taking this stance where I have a definitive, like, answer of where I want to go. Mm -hmm. um, people ask me, like, what are you planning to do next? And, like, I always tell them, like, look, I wasn't planning to do social network. I didn't sit in my room and go, I'd like to do a movie with David Fincher, maybe about the internet or something like that. It doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't at it all. Like it's, it's what it's what comes to you, and it's like it's all kind of like I, I just choose to take like the path of least resistance and just let it all kind of happen. And it's been and I don't, this is like foreign to me. Like mm -hmm. I'm in this weird position where it's like I have this option of choice. Like there have been like several offers on movies, and I've I've read the scripts and like put like thought into it and just been like I'm not sure if that's right for me. Like can you share I, any of the the offers that have been made? To you? I, I'm, I like I'd, I'd rather not, but. Okay. Uh, but uh, like, um, are there any that you're still considering? I mean, are there some projects that you're kind of that you have piqued your interest? Uh, yeah, yeah, there are. And there's um, there's one project that I'm like uh, involved with. It's uh, it's called Serpent Girl. It's a project that Matthew Conaghan is directing, mm -hmm. and uh, it's an indie film that we're trying to pretty much put together. And uh, well, he's what got kind a great of genre script. Is it? It's like uh, I would say it's like the Hangover meets like Hunter S. Thompson, or like it's like the Hangover okay. cross with like Fear and Loathing. It's like very strange, like dark comedy. Interesting. Yeah, it's like um, I mean, it's not necessarily real at this point. We're just trying to get it all together. But I mean, there's still other options on the table. Right. Like uh, there's another big thing that I, I should be hearing about today or tomorrow. Uh, Any hint? Uh, not that I can give, okay. no. Uh, when you can. When I can, when I can. Uh, which hopefully will be soon, for the love of God. I swear something they just drag you for? along. Yeah, um, something that like we've been waiting to hear on for, like I'd say at least like a solid like five business days. And it's like Tuesday, so like middle yeah, of last it's week. it's tough as an actor, isn't it? Like you, you have an audition or you talk to someone and you're yeah. like, oh, it went really well, I feel yeah. great about this. And then... You wait, and it's wait. like nothing. It's like completely out of your control. But completely then again, like that's like control. the thing where it's like, it's got to let it all happen. But it probably feels good at this stage because, like you said, you do have options now. Yeah. You've kind of proven yourself in a very well-received film that's, you know, going to be getting more and more Oscar talk as we, you know, Yeah, I lucked out, them, yeah. You know? Um, so you're in a good good spot, I think. And good luck making, you know, the right decisions. Thank and, you very much. And I hope that you find parts that are interesting. And I hope that yeah, you're, that's not, that you're not typecast yeah. because you don't want to get put in a box. Right. Well, this is my only prerequisite. Like, I don't, I'm not looking for, like, a specific size of a movie or, right. like, a specific audience or anything like that. I just want to work with people at this point who love what they do and who are passionate. Because I think working with Aaron and, and, and Finch, like, I, I think I just got spoiled. Like, those guys love their job. That's and they what love I mean. what they do You've and they're so to, passionate. You've gotten used to, like, a yeah. level of top. Yeah. I mean, you can't yeah, yeah. go higher than so that. So I just want to work with great directors. Like, if there's a great director doing any project, doing a commercial, like, mm -hmm. I'd love to work with him. And you know what? I'll follow him around set. Like, why does he do this? Why does he set right. the camera there? Like, what can I learn from it? You know? Yeah. If you could, if you could say the one greatest lesson you learned from Fincher, what would it be? I'm sure there's tons. I, yeah, picking one is just like, I swear. As you go like, into this next phase of your career where you're like, all right, I have to choose. Yeah. The, my follow-up to the social network. I, what, like, there's like mean? literally a million things running through my head. Uh, uh, I mean, I, shit, so much. Um, you have to give me time to like sure, sure, sure. deliberate. I'm okay. just, I mean, like, you know, Fincher has, you know, like a cult-like yeah. fan base. I'm like, yeah. What, what kind of like a snippet? He has like, okay, can... here's, here's the most impressive thing I'd say about him. Sure. He has a level of perfectionism that I have never seen before, but he also has like the determination and the focus to execute it, and he will not let anything get in the way of it. Mm -hmm. If anybody or anything gets in the way of like his vision and what he knows he can accomplish as perfection. Uh, it's it's just like there's nothing like it's laser focus like I've never seen and like that would be something I'd like to carry on to future mm. projects just like it's hard to do that yeah you know oh, it's yeah. easy to be uh, he's also the smartest human being I've ever seen in my life so that probably really? has something to do with it yeah well when you see the finished product and you 
you know, connected back to him and Aaron Sorkin. It's like you have yeah. to have focus. You have yeah. to be very meticulous. I mean, there's no detail in that film. Right. And, that and, is and everyone casual. there is bringing their A game. Right. So you cannot show up with like a C plus, B minus, and be like, I'm just here to hang out. You know, it's like right. you got to show up. And like that's the thing. He hires Fincher hires people who he thinks are the best for their job. And he doesn't want to worry about the job anymore because you're the best. You just do your job. Bring it. But the problem is he also knows how to do your job better than you. So it's like you have to bring it to, yeah. like, at least his level or else, you know, you'll get called out. And, like, it, all of a sudden it'll be, like, an issue. And it's like you don't want that. And, like, you know, fortunately we all showed up with our A-games and it was yeah. just, like, a smooth process. I think you all, you know, you rose to the challenge and that's why the, yeah. the movie is so successful and, and is going to be relevant the way all the kings, all the president's men is still relevant years sure, from now, sure, you know, which yeah. I think when you, it's a when testament you make to a Aaron, film, too. I mean, he, he's, he is, I think, one of the best living writers that we have today. Absolutely, like he, yeah. is, he is, without doubt, the best dialogue writer I've ever seen in my life. The and most like, quotable movie yeah, that's come out in years. Yeah. When you think well, as an actor, you know, like, he's just venerated. Like, you, you pick up his material and you're like, I get it, sure. But it's not forced down your throat either, which you really want to avoid. You don't want to be like, here, I'm going to tell the whole story to you right now. That's boring. Yeah. Yeah, he has a very great understanding of what yeah. do I need to give the actor so that they know what to what else to bring to it. Yeah. The silences and the pauses and all the other stuff that makes a performance. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you did that. So, good job. Well, thank you. And thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, thank you. It was good talking to you. Sure.